South Street Seaport once was an active port where ships would be loaded with barrels of goods with cotton tea, molasses, and spices, just to name a few. In 1972, amendments to the Federal Water Pollution Control Act, or the Clean Water Act, allowed the Environmental Protection Agency to limit the amount of pollution discharged into the water. The act began in 1948 and was the first major law concerning water pollution. In the 1970s, the government expanded the Clean Water Act's powers. By 1977, it became illegal for anyone to release pollutants without a permit. The EPA had the authority to regulate and set standards for the maximum amount of pollution industries could dump, and sewage treatment plant construction was funded to deal with waste by the government. Changes to the Clean Water Act continued. In 1987, government grants for construction programs were taken over by the states instead, known as the Clean Water State Revolving Fund. populated estuarine system in the United States is New York Harbor, which is fed into by both the East River and the Western Long Island Sound. When it comes to pollution, it's pretty obvious that the most heavily populated areas are the most polluted, especially in highly urbanized areas like New York. In fact, the whole East River and Western Long Island Sound area received treated sewage from 18 wastewater treatment plants throughout New York and the south of Connecticut, as well as discharges from the many factories along the coasts and sewer overflow from the city. In fact, approximately 83% of this effluent is enough to fill Yankee Stadium every four hours. This effluent is all going right into the four mile long East River. This has the results that you might expect, and toxicity studies from as recent as 1996 show that East River sediments are some of the most toxic in the entirety of the Raritan Hudson Basin. Environmental problems that occur in the region as a result... Of